Senate has confirmed the appointment of Major General Farouk Yahaya as Chief of Army Staff. National Assembly Correspondent Ignatius Nkwo reports that the Senate has also received the 2021 supplementary budget for consideration. Returning to the chamber after two weeks break, senators were greeted by a leaking roof at the National Assembly lobby, which attracted attention and caused worries. I will call on FCDA, I will call on the Federal Executive Council to also look, take a look at our submissions and do the needful but did not deter the legislators from sitting. Plenary took off with President of the Senate, Ahmed Lawan, reading presidential request for the consideration of the 2021 supplementary budget of 895.8 billion naira to mainly fund the military, COVID-19 vaccines, and Nigeria's HIV AIDS program in the states. That preceded the confirmation of the new Chief of Army Staff with emphasis on collective responsibility in fighting insecurity in Nigeria. The military alone cannot resolve the security challenges. The military needs the support of each and every single citizen of this country. Senate passed the National University of Health and Medical Sciences Suleja Establishment Bill, sponsored by Senator Sani Musa and the University of Aerospace and Aeronautics Oka Akoko Establishment Bill, sponsored by Senator Ajayi Borofis, while the Real Estate Regulation Council Bill by Senator Liu Wamako, the Solid Minerals Producing Areas Development Commission, sponsored by Senator Oseni Yakubu, and the National Pediatric Center Yala Cross River State Establishment Bill, sponsored by Senator Stephen Ode, passed second reading. The need to establish the proposed National Pediatric Center is amplified by the recent outbreak of strange diseases which have claimed over 250 lives of children in Cross River North. Senator Frank Ibrahim drew the attention of the Senate to the urgent need for the Federal Minister of Power to construct the Okigwe Power Transmission Substation. Senator Suleiman Abdul Kwari called for critical assessment of the performance of the Economic Recovery and Growth Plan 2017-2020. to 2020. The Federal Ministry of Power to upgrade the Okigwe Power Facility to a district station. And the level of implementation of the Central Bank of Nigeria intervention in all sectors. Senate approved the report of its Committee on Health, which recommended, among other issues, the need to effectively implement the 75% import duties on imported syringes and needles so as to encourage local producers. From the National Assembly, Ignatius Nkwo, NTN.